Hey, what's up you guys? It's Future Me here coming back at you with another video. Today, I am reacting to the Overture teaser called The Final Feast from Genshin Impact. I believe this is the teaser for 4.0 and we will be getting the nation of Fontaine. I'm super excited. I've only seen a couple of things leaked for this video and by leaked, I mean I'm reacting to it two days after Hoyoverse has posted it, so I'm a little late on the game. And without further ado, I think we should just get into it. Oh, I'm really nervous. My mission. What's your mission? Drowning? Drowning's your mission? I don't recognize the voice though, is it Aether? That it definitely not Aether, my bad, my bad. Misspoke. <laughs> the original sin is the fairest. Ooh. Everyone sinks. I don't think Make that's the how most sin works. Of the final feast. Because for the sinners, the curtain call has come. It's gonna be a really dramatic storyline. <laughs> yeah, I should laugh. He was drowning, I should laugh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she did it! It's a girl. My bad. My bad. She, he Seeing is believing, I mean, she my hurt. friends. No. This has been Linny and Lynette's magic oh, show. Oh, magic. That's so cute. <laughs> the I don't essence know which of one's magic which, they look is like getting twins. people to believe a lie. They really look the like twins. the most important part of this is what people see. Hey, who are you? People don't that's a really cute outfit, but who are you? expect their eyes to tell them the truth. Knock off Yanfei, let's go! But what you see is not real. It's all a show. Ma'am, that is littering. I'm so... Oh, and every so part cute. of the show is carefully controlled. <laughs> controlled how? Oh, honey, she just wants to share with them. By choosing the right time, the right place. What's going on? And... What the is right going on? People. Whoever you controls these three controls scary. everything. But keep your eyes peeled, and you might be able to turn things to your That's advantage. That's a gun! This is Genshin! How did you get a gun? Oh, that's cool. That was a nice transition. In a nutshell, magic is what you see with your own two eyes. Yeah! One of them is way happier than the other, and that's kind of depressing. Very fun. But it's not enough. Where did you come from? I thought they were performing <laughs> in front of an entire crowd. Let me make something clear. You think of yourselves as magicians, but when you're on the stage, you're first and foremost actors. Good actors hone their craft to mesmerize the whole crowd. Did you just turn them into that? Were they fake this entire time? That's so good. Okay, and now we're just lighting the litter on fire. That's not how we deal with our problems, people. Boring! I mean, why do I even bother? When are we going to finally see a real twist for once? Please refrain from levity in the court. I don't know what that means, so I will not be doing that. Thank this you. This trial is far from over. Oh yeah, because Fontaine is supposed to be the nation of justice, aren't they? I love how they go, this trial is far from over, and then the video ends. Thanks, Genshin. Perfect timing. There's a few things I have noticed that I want to talk about. First of all, the the sin thing that happens here. That all sinners will like perish or whatever. What does that mean for us? Because that, I don't know about you guys, but that does not seem to have good connotations. Who is judging us? Who is deciding what is sin and what is not sin? That's my question. Because I feel like even though they're in the nation of justice that the Traveler's not going to be weighed fairly either way because we never have been unless in the case of Mondstadt. Leeway, we were treated as villain because they thought we killed Rex Lapis. We were pretty much wanted in Inazuma. I mean, we almost died twice in Inazuma thanks to Raiden. And then in Sumeru, we were also, I'm pretty sure, wanted because we were helping Nahida. 
So who is judging good from evil? Who is deciding the sin? What does that mean for the Traveler? Because I don't think it means anything good. Second of all, the twins are so cute. I'm assuming they're twins, but this guy, so much happier than her. Like, you can't really see because my camera's in the way, but she is frowning. Is she being forced into doing this? Is he the one that's like pushing her to do this? I'm pretty sure Arlecchino, I'm pretty sure is her name, the Fatui member, forcing them to do this? Is that why she was the only one in the audience? Like, what is going on here? I'm not quite sure. And then there's, they hear and something part of the show after is this, carefully listen. Controlled. How? Right here. It says controlled how, and then there's like some sort of ringing. So I'm thinking it's something like the Samsaris thing that happened in, in Sumeru, where Sumeru was controlling us from a dream and making us repeat the same thing. And what if the people of Fontaine hear that sound and then they're then being controlled? Like, is that how that's working here? Like, is the entire thing just a manufactured plot line for us to follow because between this sound and what this chick says like about the plot and the twist not being good enough like are they just manufacturing an entire storyline for when the traveler shows up and then nothing we actually see is real is that what's happening here because i feel like that's what's happening and if this theory is wrong i'll probably cry and if this theory is correct i'll probably also cry because i've never been right about a genshin theory i would like to know genshin is everything in fontaine fake because i feel like as the nation of justice they shouldn't allow to be fakers Do I even also bother? i'm pretty sure this is their archon this person when here are we going to find I think there's a reason why this is cut out in this specific shape. It kind of almost reminds me of the four leaf clover things that we see in Sumeru that we like the, the yellow things that like pull us between one point and another. It kind of looks like that shape. And I don't like how it frames this chair and you then frames him. Because I feel like she's the Archon, right? He's the guy that's actually pulling the strings, much like how the Sumeru, much like how the Sumeru Academia controlled Sumeru and Nahira. Like, is that what's happening? Is he actually pulling the strings? Because to me, she just kind of seems like sassy and a little bit of a brat, but I don't want to call that because it's literally two lines of dialogue. So I don't want to call her a brat just yet. But is that what's going on? Like, is that the vibe? I'm very interested in seeing if this is going to continue and if this theory that I've based on literally no information besides the little limited knowledge I got in this teaser is right. But I'm excited for Fontaine. And if you are, please tell me in the comments and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all again next week. Bye. See you later, Vlog Nation.